Hey Legends, Narozo here, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Recently, I just got hooked up to a game platform called Roblox. If you haven't heard of it, I'll be pretty surprised. The reason why I didn't play Roblox back then was because I always thought Roblox was like a ripoff of Lego. But that's not the case. I've been exploring through the studio, all the games. My friend Nitrochon actually plays it. It's so cool. So today, I'm going to be creating my own RPG game. Now, this is my first one, so don't judge me if I fail. So yeah. Okay, so before this video starts, I need you guys to pick a logo. One, two, three, or four. These are going to be a logo for a uh, like group I'm going to be making. And I want the logo to look good. Just pick which one you like the most. Please don't steal these logos in the comments below. And you'll be entered in a giveaway for 1,000 Robux. So yeah, be sure to comment. What I'm going to be doing is I have a goal. I'm going to try and draw it out, plan it. Then it will be a bit easier to use in Roblox Studio because I don't have to make it from scratch. I have all the blueprints. I'm going to call this first part Spawn, and I'm going to just make a map of everything that I've done. So in Spawn, we obviously need the Spawn Plate. Oh my gosh, that looks ugly. I'm sorry for these terrible drawings. And I'm going to add, like, armor to the game and, like, guns. No, not guns, but, like, weapons, healing fountain. And then, yeah, so I guess here is the spawn. And, like, you're facing this way, so I'm going to add an arrow right here. And now I'm going to add the shops. I think the shops should be, like... Back here, different little shops. They're probably going to be bigger. But, like, the whole thing is just, like, one sliver. Let's call it the shoebox. Okay. And so these are the weapons. So let me just draw a sword. I'll add a cool little... I'll add, like, some attraction here. Like, special. I'm going to call that special because maybe I could add a bridge. I could add, like, leaderboard. Oh yeah, speaking of leaderboard, I need a leaderboard. I'm going to put it on this wall over here, so you can glance it at any time. Now here, I'm going to have like a portal room, a bunch of that awesome stuff. So I'm going to add a uh, portal room. It's going to be like a shack, so there's going to be one pillar there, and it's going to be connected to the uh, like top of it. So you could enter at both sides from here and from here. And the portal is going to be either here or here. So you can access it very easily. And I'm also going to have an armory, which is like a bunch of the armor places. So I'll get the rest of this space over here and label it armor. Now this is like a pretty good, well done shoebox already. Uh, I'm gonna add like a bit of just, you know, decorations here and there. And that's pretty much it for the spawn. Nothing that special, but nothing that bad. Oh, and I forgot, I forgot the healing fountain. Um, I'm just gonna put a healing little fountain here. And if you go into it, you can like heal. And that's gonna help a lot in an RPG game because you're taking bunches of damage. So that's it for this one. So now, once we have our spawn finished, we can go and do the armor like place, the portal room, special shops, all these. But I think what I'm going to do is like I'm going to make the portal room layout for now. So I'm going to label this portal room. Now it's not going to be as boring as the spawn. Because the spawn is pretty boring, I'm not gonna lie. So, when you enter through these little two portals, I believe you should, like, enter into, like, a good place and you can see all these portals. But what I'm going for is, like, a different biome-ish kind of RPG. But I'm not gonna make it just straight out plain, you know, when I'm talking about, like, portals, portals, after portals, after portals. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna... First, 
had my arrow here facing that way. So this is the portal you go through, like from the spawn through these portals, and you go, and then you like spawn right here. Now that's like pretty much it, but what I'm going to do is make this RPG like, you could access hard mode on level one, but the thing is hard mode is hard and you're gonna die easily. So what I'm going to do for this is I'm going to make a, like a cross, cross, a huge little space here, and then I'm going to add a barrier right here. You'll see why later. Now, so these are going to be different portals. I'm going to have a shack in each portal. So it looks a bit more organized. In all, there's going to be six main places that a level one character can actually easily access starting from level one level five level 10 now once you've graduated that you could go to level 15 now i'm gonna make it 20 make it a bit harder honestly make it level 20 level 40 you see how I'm just making it times two. And then in the end, level 50. And that's pretty much going to be the highest you can get. But there's going to be a level 50 barrier right here. Now this level 50 barrier is going to be something special, honestly. So I'm going to make this part trapezoidal. And I'm going to label it special. Now, it looks like I pretty much got this over with. So let's move on. Okay, so now once we've gotten the portal and the spawn done, we can move on to what's inside all of these different portal things. So I'm going to label this level one area because this is where the moment you spawn in your level one and this is where you go to. Now, this is going to be a bit easier and then it's going to progress getting harder, harder, harder after each level. So, honestly, I'm going to make it easier with a few humanoids, a few like attractions and stuff like that. Um, so what I'm thinking for level one is to be more of like a, uh, you know, caveman-ish biome. So there's gonna be, let's just create like basic circle map with a bunch of barriers. It's probably gonna be like more blocky-ish Kind of like straight line, down, down, down. Kind of like that. But anyway, let's just leave it like this. I'm going to have like a cave right here. And as you know, the arrow and the spawn, the portal. Okay, so we have a cave here that you can enter. And in this cave is like the boss fight. So it, I'm going to label this boss. And then I'm going to have like a bit of an adventure. So there's going to be a trail that goes like this. Um, there's going to be an invisible barrier around this like pond here. So you have to follow it pretty much. Uh, so I'm going to label this pond. I'm also going to label this trail. Now, looks like my thing is getting a bit messy, but it's all right. You're going to be able to view the cave and everything, but you'll have to follow the trail. Now, in the trail, there's going to be, like, monster humanoids, actually. Everywhere, there's going to be, like, a little parkour part, which is, like, oh, no, like, the road is broken. So, I'm going to call this B-Hop. I like to call parkour B-Hop. And I have, like, a few more humanoids. I'm going to add, like, something special over here. Maybe, like, a special weapon and stuff like that. I'm going to label that special humanoid here and there. Yeah, so we pretty much got our level 1 area finished. I'm going to label it in the corner that it's going to be cave and then biome. So it's probably going to be a caveman-ish biome. So I guess that's it for the level 1 area. Okay, so as we finished most of these things, 
I'm not gonna show you guys the, uh, like, bunches of, like, you know, the level 50, level 40, level 20, level 10, and level 5. That's for you to figure out. But for the special, there's gonna be a special little, like, theme that you're gonna be able to visit. So I'm gonna draw that out for you guys so you guys know what you're in for. During these whole series, I'm not going to show you the level 5, level 10, level 20, level 40, and level 50, because that's for you to figure out, and not for me to spoil. Maybe in the gameplay I'll show it, but like for, not, for now, I'm not going to do that. Anyway, this one is going to be the special area, and what I'm going for here is like a like pyramid-ish kind of you know biome so i'm gonna add the circle i'm getting like trained for this because i was doing the 5 10 20 40 50 already and yeah um here's the egyptian my hands are pretty used to making all of this egyptian biome now there's gonna be cool pyramids everything and a pretty sick boss that'll give you a bunch of perks and stuff so here's the portal for the level 50 special place and it's gonna be here and here's a little guy here where you spawn in i'm like i said it's gonna be a pyramid so i'm gonna have a big pyramid over here it's gonna be more of a maze so i'm gonna write pyramid maze okay and i'm gonna add a barrier here and it's gonna be like a sphinx like thing maybe like a roblox man sphinx thing <laughs> and i'm gonna have like that's gonna be a barrier in egypt you don't have much stuff so i'm going to make a trail 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 and i'll add a bunch of stuff here 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 in the background that's just my sister just playing around. But like, this is like a bunch of humanoids. And in this pyramid maze, you're going to have two paths. One is to a pretty OP weapon. So that's like OP weapon. And the other path is boss fight. And that's what you're trying to get here. You want to fight the boss and beat the game. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this special area.